Welcome back guys. In this week's episode, we do our STCW training to learn valuable skills for emergencies out on the ocean. It was a fun week and we learned a bunch. Remember to hit the subscribe button and enjoy. Cheers. The yellow tinge is the gas is being burned off. The port of the fireball knocked out the cabin. How's that? <laughs> so good. But basically the drill was to save us, those guys. We did it before them. Um, and like the number one rule is like always hold on to the wall and like you do a sweet shuffle. It's like <laughs> the firefighter shuffles, so you like up, <laughs> find them. Anyway, it's so disorientating and it's so much fun. It'd be harder on a boat though. No. They need to roll the hose. Oh. <laughs> All right, run it out. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Quick. What's that thing to rope for? <laughs> yeah. Oh, burn stomp. Nice. Please check out your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Firefighting. Firefighting. Do I have stuff on my face? Do I? No, but how do you feel? Oh, good. Sweaty. Sweaty. Yeah, you wreck your nice shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the best thing. 
Oh. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. <laughs> day done. It was a good day. What do you reckon, Dan? Yeah, pretty tired. We just, I don't know. I don't know what they, I think they got up to like 270 degrees in the container. And yeah, you can feel like the, when you spray the roof, you can feel the droplets coming down, they're hot and you don't want to get any water on your gloves because they just burn, so. Yeah, basically we were cooked chickens. <laughs> cooked chickens. We so we're having a cold drink food. now. And water safety tomorrow. Yeah. Bun bun. Sea survival. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do that and so nice. <laughs> it's weird this night, <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> What's going on today, Kate? Morning. <laughs> we are doing the first aid course and our VHF exam this afternoon. And then that's our STCW done for the week. So we've done firefighting, sea survival, first aid, security, prevention. So it's a lot. I think we'll we're do. both very exhausted. We'll do power boat too, so. Yeah, I don't know when Sunday. we're doing that. But. Huge week, now off to learn Kate's trade. <laughs> <laughs> Mayday, 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 this is Helly, 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 call sign, Tango, Oscar, Charlie, 547, Mayday, Helly, call sign, Tango, Oscar, Charlie, 547. So first weekend off in our two weeks here, I think. Um, so yeah, we're going to go do some Gibraltar exploring, go up the rock and walk around a bit show you pretty much all that Gibraltar has to offer. It's an awesome place, but it's pretty small. So yeah, mum and dad just flew over from New Zealand, saw the queen and the funeral and things, and now they've popped down to um, come hang with us for a couple of days. So there she is. <laughs> Ah! 
Can I look down, Kate? Hmm? Can I look down? <laughs> Is that a nervous arm grip? <laughs> <laughs> from the east it comes in and it hits the front of the rock and goes up and forms this layer of cloud so you, you know it's easterly when you got this big layer of cloud over the rock of Gibraltar be cool Three of the Academy boats down here. Just chilling here with Doug. Doug, hey Doug, it's me and my boy Doug, good stuff mate. St Michael's Cave is a large cave network situated within the Gibraltar Rock. It's dated back roughly 20,000 years and the Cathedral Cave was thought to be bottomless for a lot of this time. As the Rock of Gibraltar was thought to be one of the legendary pillars of Hercules, the ancient Greeks also believed the cave to be the gates of Hades, an entrance to the underworld. They've set up an auditorium in the cave, it's pretty epic to check it out and see all the light shows going on.
looking out over the linear. And that's where we're living down there in that marina. As well as the caves, there's 34 miles of human-made tunnels pickaxed into the rock of Gibraltar. In the past, there's been many sieges fought in this area, and even with the Spanish and the French ganging up on the Brits, they were able to maintain Gibraltar from using these tunnels. Crazy place.